treatment for cardiac breakthrough is first find the hardness of the metal. So this is the material that is present in the mild steel. So here, before going to hardness, first we have to find what is the hardness number of this material. So it is called a before the heat treatment. And then once we completed the heat treatment process, next again come back and find what is the hardness number of this material. So here heat treatment process means how to just improve some properties of the material. So this is the actual testing machine. So you should to find the hardness number. Okay. So here this one is called as an intern there. So you can see here. So these are the readings. So depends upon the material we are using. You can use either ball indenter or this is the scale according to this we can select the indenter. So ball or diamond we can use. So what is the load you have to use? So these are the various materials. So here we are using a mild steel material. So mild steel material so it just comes under the steel. So diamond indenter we are using, this one is the diamond indenter. So, so this one is the cone type but diamond indenter. So now using the allen key you can fix. So once fix the indenter you have to place the workpiece like this. So come here. So here for a diamond indenter and a wild steel, apply the load of 150 kgf. So you can see here, so 150 kgf you have to apply. So this one. So now, so this is the load setting area. So you can just rotate for setting the various load. So this is 150. This is 60 kgf. This is 100 kgf. So now we have to apply 150 kgf. Okay. So initially, how to type this, that is a preloader workplace, just to touch, now see the dial, so the small dial you have to apply the force up to the 3, the maximum, you cannot go beyond the red mark, so that is the maximum limit, after that if I cannot give. You can see here the dial indicator may get damaged if small pointer goes beyond the red spot. So that is the very important one. So the up to the red spot you have to apply the preload. So now, so now applying a load, slowly you have to apply the so preload. So you have to apply the load up to the point 3, that is a red mark. So now we set the preload, so it should be at point the red mark 3. So now we have to adjust the dial to zero setting. So now it is zero. Now we have to apply the load. So this one is the load. So clockwise if you put, you have to apply the load and this is the release of the load. So I am applying the load. Now it will start giving the reading. So you have to wait for some seconds, so gradually it will move and it will stop. So once it stops, you have to release the load. So now in the dial, what is the value is indicating, which is called as the hardness number. So since here diamond we are using 150 kg load, here the dial is black we are using, so the black dial, so it is a 79, so HR, HRB is 79, so HRC is 79, so the black color is HRB, HRC and the red color is HRB, so C scale here to C. So now for heat treatment process we have to 
have to keep inside the material so this is the muffle furnace how to open the muffle furnace you have to keep inside so you have to use properly the gloves tongs all the things so for the three exercises we are taking three material annealing and then hardening and then normalizing so for three exercises we have to use three materials so after placing inside we have to close the muffle furnace I have to wait for the temperature to reach 800 degrees Celsius. So once the temperature reaches, I have to check the time and wait for 15 minutes. Once the temperature reaches above 800 degrees Celsius. Now keep the workpiece for uh, 15 minutes. So next is the hardening process. Here it is a sudden cooling, like a punching. Take the workpiece and dip in the water. So here it is a sudden cooling. Cooling rate is a very quick. So hardness will increase. Tempering process. Already this is the hardened material. So already hardened material you have to keep inside the furnace. Maintain the temperature at 550 degrees Celsius. So wait for 15 minutes and then cool slowly. So that is the tampering process.